groundbreaking new AI therapy could help revolutionize mental health treatment. Researchers at King's College London have developed an avatar-based therapy aimed at helping people with psychosis. Could this be the future of mental health treatment? Find out more in our next story. A rude, foul-mouthed, AI-generated avatar developed by King's College in London could potentially help people with psychosis. Psychosis refers to loss of contact with reality, with hallucinations and delusions being the most common symptoms. Researchers behind the avatar therapy claim it could change the lives of mental health patients who hear voices. People want uh, to feel that they can recover. This therapy helps people uh, not to put their lives on hold uh, and to, to stay away from all situations, but to uh, change the way they relate to those voices so they can get on with their lives. No voices. No, I'm not. Leave me alone. This is Ruth, a psychosis patient. Ruth has spent more than five years in the hospital because of her illness. But now, thanks to the AI avatar therapy, Ruth is happily married and is about to start a new job. She's one of the first in the world to test the new technology. I've been able to build up strength and resilience. I have been able to challenge these voices. It was at times pretty brutal. The stuff that the avatar would say was really difficult and really challenging to deal with. But over time, I learned that I could overpower that voice. So how does this therapy work? All therapy sessions begin with patients helping create a digital avatar. These avatars are created by the patient to give a face to the voices in their heads. They first select the distinct voice for the avatar, after which they choose facial features or create an image that seems to best represent the voice. During therapy, patients converse with the avatar, which is always under the control of a clinical psychologist. By role-playing under the guidance of a therapist, the patient learns to stand up to the negative voices they hear. Voices are something that the person might have been avoiding for many years um, and they're coming face to face with it. So um, people can be understandably anxious um, about facing the avatar for the first time. Um, and the job of the therapist there is to make sure that it feels safe enough for them to, to interact with the avatar in a powerful way. Still in its trial period, the therapy has received approval from the UK's National Institute for Health and Care Excellence. The therapy will soon be rolled out to clinics in England for more real-world testing.